If a company makes a rash decision to try to underbid a competitor in a reverse auction and wins with an unrealistically low figure, how will this affect the government and taxpayers? Well, it puts the, uh, pr the completion of the project at risk. As, as a prime contractor, I won't take a subcontractor's price if I believe it's marginal. Uh, performance is everything for my business. Um, you know, you only get one chance to screw the jobs up. So I think the government gets in the same spot. If they take a price that they know is marginal, you know, it, it puts the it puts the completion of the project at li at risk. Which then, you know, a project has inherent costs, and if you get too far below them, you know, you're going to end up with not being able to finish the job and somebody else having to come back in, and and and, uh, and that gets very expensive. And, and delays the project or completion. Thank you. Mr. Palatillo, uh, the Brooks Act requires agencies to use qualification-based selection or QBS. This requires factors besides just price are used when evaluating. Yeah, this requires factors besides uh, just price as are, are used when evaluating firms for the provision of architectural and engineering services. If any agency fails to do this, what inform enforcement mechanisms uh, are in place to compel uh, cooperation? They're actually rather limited, Madam uh, Chairman. The, um, as the, uh, Mr. Lazier indicated, we provide the same service to our members. If a, if a firm sees a procurement that uh, is not in full compliance with the Brooks Act, a firm will, will contact us and we will try to be in touch with the agency, point out what the requirements are under laws and regulations. Um, but that's very voluntary on the part of the agency as to whether they want to work with us and try to make it right. Mm -hmm. The only other alternative is for the firm itself then to file a protest. We would like to see a provision. We do not have standing for protest. We're not under the definition of an interested party on behalf of our members. We think that ought to be changed and associations ought to have the right to protest, not the award. Mm -hmm. The associations don't want to get in the middle of does company A or company B win the contract, but in order to help make sure that the Brooks Act is properly enforced, we'd like to have uh, protest uh, standing to do that on behalf of our member so that th or our members so that their name is kept out of it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Zelenka, the Office of Federal Procurement Policy conducted an online survey li late last year on reverse auctions. Do you think that this was a useful method for gathering input on reverse auctions? Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with, with the survey that they did. It would just all depend on who the target was of the survey. Um, you know, certainly there are industries that it you know the the manufacturer in the manufacturing industry where you you know making paper clips or supplies uh you know that that would give you some positive feedback on it uh and there are other industries you know a complex service industry or a uh, construction industry i think you would negative so i'm not sure who the target was on it but uh okay well um do you have any other questions i want to thank all the uh, the, the, the witnesses uh, for spending uh, time with us this morning and providing some uh, insightful information as to the dynamics that are going on with um, federal procurement practices.